What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and it is the 4th of July, so I have a mystery box. This is actually not the mystery box from the 4th of July, obviously, because this is the day. I will be purchasing that mystery box tonight. However, this is the Father's Day edition of the mystery box. And as you can see, it's kind of a big package, so I'm guessing it's not one of the pistol deals. I'm guessing it is one of the rifles, maybe the combos. But without further ado, let's get into this. I do want to tell you guys that you're noticing that this is blank for a reason. I'm going to put in my description an address so you guys can send artwork or something. I did a video on that, but it only got like 700 views, and this one I know will get more. So if you want to send any artwork that's going to be displayed on my wall, I have a lot of stuff here, and I have some ideas for what I could use here as far as possibly like a logo or something. But I also want you guys, if you want to send in artwork and actually have artistic ability, that you can send stuff in here. But let's get into this video. This weighs 14 pounds. That's what makes me think that it's a rifle and it's a little bit bigger. I doubt it's any of like the really good packages because I'm not the greatest with luck on um, these boxes. I've done okay. One time I got a double barrel pistol. The one time I actually bought an Airsoft GI unboxing, I actually got a VFC Stubby M4 that was really good. But let's hope this is one of the sweet rifles. It could be one of like the big rifles. I don't know. We have the three people that are in this room right now. We have bets on what it is. So if it is one of those, I will say who got it. I am thinking it's one of the two rifle packages. There is the tape, and I'm wrong already. Um, This is the Baby Desert Eagle by Magnum Research. I think this is a non blowback pistol. I will have my texture shot midget skillfully unpack that package. Another airsoft safety sack. So I, guys, I probably have, I think, six or eight of these one time in one of the e-bike mystery boxes that i got some dude gave three of them he had three of them in the bag i pulled it out and i pulled another one out and i pulled it i was like what the heck what in the world is going on so i ended up getting three and someone at e-bike should be fired because they're losing e-bike hundreds of thousands of dollars by giving away too many of those that's a, that's a shame um this is the a and k masada so sure shot midget was right oh i have socks those are sick. Um, so e-bike socks, and they sh should, this is a 10% coupon as well, $10 off coupon. Um, sure, Sean Mister was right, he was right on what this is. This is an a and K Masada, I think it's the longer version one. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, I think it might be the Masada SV. From what, uh, it says a and K Airsoft Assault Rifle Series, CNC. They probably have the same boxes, except this one's just a little bit longer. Um, it doesn't give exactly what color. I'm hoping it's tan. Here's their manual. A and K M4 modular system AEG manual. A and K stuff is okay. They're an okay brand. Sure shot midget actually has one of the black regular Masadas, and it is tan. Sweet. So first thing it comes with is your good old unjamming rod that everybody has quite a few of. Some 0.2 gram BBs, 300 rounds, high precision. It actually looks like they're gloss pretty good, so they might be acceptable to use. Um, it has a flip up rear iron sight. Actually looks kind of cool. So it's a flip up rear iron sight, just a standard black one. That actually is, that's kind of a cool sight there. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I don't, it's kind of weird. You just like flip it up on the side and then, huh, that's a pretty cool sight though. Um, better than the basic sights, they have a P-Mag style high cap that feels pretty darn cheap. I actually think I had one of these before. I didn't know what brand it was because I saw the clear top, which I think is a great idea. I like kind of that it has the clear top on that. But let us look at this rifle. I have had, I think, two or three of the GMP Masadas before. Um, those things were sweet. This is the a and ACR. It, it, looks, it looks pretty nice. I like the handguard. I like this stock. So this stock looks like you can adjust the cheek riser as well as the butt stock. I don't really care for folding stocks. I like that these ones, they're just basically some, some, with some folding stocks, it's kind of hard because they'll break. And I don't like that you can kind of have that possibility of something breaking, but this feels really solid. And I like how, I like how the stock looks. It kind of looks like one of the, the Magpul PRS stocks, like all those, those sniper stocks. It looks a little bit like it. Obviously the build quality on this isn't as high as something that's actual Magpul. You can just tell the low receiver is a little bit less quality, or quite a bit less quality than the actual GMP ones, but the GMP ones are really, really expensive. Um, charging handle, my GMP one's a little bit higher, so this one there, but it looks like it's ambi, like you can take this out if you wanted to. All the controls on selector switcher ambi, mag release. 
I actually really like these, the full release on the Masadas. I think they're, because if you want to like, it's just, it's just a quick transition. Um, front handguard is pretty long. I don't know how long this barrel is, but that is a fairly long barrel. I mean, it makes sense because this is kind of more like a DMR style rifle, but pretty happy with this unboxing. I like the flat rail. It's a monolithic upper rail. I really like that line there. It just, it's got like, it's got some pretty good lines. It, it feels good. It's a little bit, I say it's a little bit rear heavy, um, but that'll probably change. I'm guessing this battery goes in the handguard. I think, I doubt you could fit something back here. This feels like it's pretty thin, but I'm guessing it'll go in the handguard since there's a lot of space up front here. I'm just not seeing a whole lot of wiring. Yeah, there's the Tamiya connector, but pretty cool gun. Not a bad, I don't know how many people won this. Um, I was thinking it was the, the M14 and the one of the snipers like I've caught before, but I really like this gun. This is a great gun, great mystery box. I always love getting mystery boxes just because it's fun and the idea of getting to try new things. But this has been Alec Mack. Oh, forgot. I forgot the pistol. Sure, I'm legit. There we go. Shoot. Wow. That is. The mag. I probably should just end the video already. The mag is actually heavier than the pistol itself. I, I've had these kind of pistols before. I had a Smith & Wesson CO2. But. Yeah, I mean, not a blowback. Whatever. It's kind of cool. Um, they shoot, it's CO2, so like CO2 powered is pretty consistent. It has the Cybergun Dax hop-up systems on these, um, so they're not super great. I mean, it's KWC, like this is, this is decent. The, the externals look cool. I, can't, I don't know if I like the way that the Baby Desert Eagle looks. Like it's, it's an okay cool gun. It's not my favorite as far as like feel, and it's kind of hard with this one because it's so cheap. But I think they're like 60 bucks, 45 bucks, whatever, something like that, something pretty cheap. But pistol obviously isn't the big part of the unboxing, it's this rifle. And this rifle is something I am pretty darn happy with. This has been Alec Mack 101. Look forward to some more 4th of July videos. I'm going to be doing some shooting drills. I will see you guys later.